politicians never change the corrupt system they are part of. Political parties never agree on any reforms. No one can stand up to corporate lobbyists. Really? Here is a story about a group of Czech activists and lawyers who proved everyone wrong with a clever campaign. Czech Republic is a prosperous and picturesque country in the heart of Europe, but when it comes to political corruption, it scores among third world countries. It's not about small everyday bribes, it's how hidden business and political networks kidnap the decision-making capability of the government, police, justice system and local authorities. Two prime ministers step down because of corruption. Czechs are the worst in mismanaging EU funds and we also added company tunnelling to the English vocabulary. How do we change this? First, we needed to move from solving individual cases to changing the rules of the game. Někteří podnikatelé, takzvaní kmotři, sponzorují některé politiky nebo politické strany. Tihle politici potom úkolují úředníky nebo manažery státních firm, aby dali zakázky kmotrům. A tak se uzavírá začarovaný kruh služeb, proti služeb a úplatků. Dozens of activists and experts got together in 2013 to suggest nine bills which would complicate political corruption, conflicts of interest, misuse of public funds and increased transparency. Most of these reforms had been promised and proposed in the past, but they got bogged down repeatedly. Pavel Franz and Martin Faderny, two lawyers from Frank Bolt Society, a Czech NGO, came up with an idea how to push these reforms through a clogged up parliament. Ask every single member of parliament to sign a pretty detailed pledge with nine specific reforms. One reform got through quickly in 2013, but the rest went painfully slow. The mood changed with the snap elections in the autumn of 2013. Hundreds of volunteers approached and signed up 1,500 candidates across party lines. Thanks to the support from the Czech business community, we sent out millions of leaflets with their names on. Also, we ran viral videos with the local movie stars. In the end, 165 out of the 200 new MPs have promised the reforms. One party even made it its official agenda. KDU-ČSL se samozřejmě k rekonstrukci státu také přihlásila úplně bez problému, protože naše požadavky jsou daleko tvrdší. After the elections, all looked bright for a short period of time. Recommended laws got to the parliament and into the government's plans. But, yet again, just a single one went actually into force. However hard we tried, the rest ran into a wall of excuses, delays, political fights and lobbyists from the municipalities and government-run companies. MPs started to call us names. Blackmailers, extremists, radicals, shady lobbyists. False rumours about us spread easily. Also, the media tensions changed. Migrants and fear took all the attention. A billionaire turned Minister of Finance became the hot issue. Parties tried to portray us as his partisan players. What helped us to withstand the pressure? Although dozens of MPs did not take the pledge seriously, we kept meeting most of the politicians regularly. We kept encouraging their voters to stay in touch and remind them of the reforms. We worked with a small group of politicians across party lines who actively pushed for the bills to pass. We kept building coalitions with businesses, chambers, experts and kept the NGOs together, but also relied heavily on a small and professional executive team. We had to provide professional legal expertise since the politicians were not able or willing to do so. We raised serious funds to run ads and fund campaigns about the topics and against those breaking their promises. We kept a non-partisan approach, but were not shy to work closely with or attack anyone from left to right. It was an uphill battle, but after three years, four out of the nine proposed reforms got passed. Also, reconstruction of the state inspired other coalitions both at home and in neighbouring Hungary and Slovakia. Will it last? Will it change the situation? We see some early signs, but of course, this 
is just the beginning.